coming up in this read. I'm struggling to, to understand why somebody is feeling powerless. You need to take back your power. That That is literally the whole point. Leo, let's get into your March reading. Any information that you need, you can find it in my description box and in my pinned comment below. If you're cross-watching for a Leo, then please switch over the roles because I could be speaking directly to you. And also please do keep in mind <laughs> that this is general, okay? So it's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. You just take what's resonating for you and you leave what doesn't for someone else, okay? Please also do respect the tarot and approach it with an open mind, patience and without expectations. And finally, if you don't want to miss a video, then subscribe and stay notified. Right, so Leo, um, elephant in reverse why is this in reverse misunderstandings and fate okay trust issues as well gazelle uh time to get back in the present moment heightened awareness and ability feeling vulnerable sophistication and elegance hyper aware of your surroundings graceful perceptive and artistic with the hawk uh, fate, fate has eyes on you, and minds are sh and, and winds are shifting. Watchful, all-seeing, a messenger of divinity sees the details and the bigger picture. A divine message it sees clearly and intuitive. So why why is there trust issues then with the elephant in reverse? Is this indicating to me, Leo, that um, you? you're finding yourself needing to rely almost completely on your own intuition and you don't know if you should trust that with the elephant in reverse. Someone's feeling uh, quite powerless as well, with, with that being in reverse. Feeling powerless against um, against fate, something to do with fate, something that is uh, predestined so the message with this one leo don't don't let go of the sight that in a lot of ways you determine your own fate okay you do determine your own fate that there are certain things that are absolutely destined specifically for you don't get me wrong but how, how you get to that point and the journey that you take to get to that point um, and then finally the, the ultimate end result of that is going to depend on you. I'm struggling to, to understand why somebody is feeling powerless. You need to take back your power. That That is literally the whole point. That That is also the whole point of being spiritual. It's to give you that confidence so that you can take back your power. If if this isn't your energy, Leo, then it could be someone else's energy, someone else that, that you're specifically dealing with. They could be feeling powerless. They, they, they could be feel like, they could be feel like, wow. <laughs> um, they could be feeling like they're trapped in a situation and they're powerless to break free from it. But th this is... Th Look, right, Let, let's focus in on this elephant energy to help better explain this so that I can try and give a visual to this energy that I'm feeling, okay? So when you think about elephants, um, let's pretend someone has captured an elephant. Um, we then train that elephant to stay where we're wanting it to stay and the way that that's usually done is through a chain on on one of its hoofs right and then the other side of the chain or the other end of the chain is um drilled into the ground right so the elephant over time will learn when that chain is on its hoof that it can't move 
So a few years of training it to associate the chain with not being able to move. Eventually, what they find that they can do, that the people, what they find they can do is no longer bother putting the other end of the chain into the ground. Because the, ele the elephant has already associated the feeling of the chain with not being able to move. And, and this is why um, in, in certain circumstances where elephants have been captured and trained in this way, that they're just walking around with a loose chain on them because the people no longer need to put it in the ground anymore. The, the elephant's already trained. Um, when we're talking like spiritually, this is false beliefs that have been put in someone else's mind to make them believe that they're stuck when they're not actually stuck. If you think about the power that an elephant has, incredibly powerful, like ridiculously powerful. So somebody, either you or someone that you're dealing with, Leo, doesn't realize their own strength, their own power. Because of these, that this training that has been implanted in someone's head. So the, the way to get through this is to retrain yourself or retrain themselves, whatever the case might be. And I'm getting like captivity with the elephant in reverse and then freedom with these two wild animals upright. So what somebody is wanting to do is very, very different from what they believe that they can do. And with that being in reverse, it's just a belief, especially with the elephant. It's just a belief. It's not real. Somebody isn't actually stuck. They just believe that they're stuck. It's time for whoever that individual is to, uh, to, to free themselves from their chains, either real or imaginary, and to, to learn to fly high. Someone's intuition is absolutely screaming at them to, um, to, to free themselves, to, to free their mind specifically, and to take back their power. But they don't know if they should trust their intuition. They, they don't know if by listening to their intuition that they're actually going to make matters worse for themselves and not better. Okay, right. So we're going to start pulling your tarot and see if we can get further information on this. Um, I'm, I'm needing to pull the cards ever so slightly differently this week because this card stock is like a a linen type cardstock, which means that it's not very responsive for, for jumping. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it's super, super rare that we all get jumpers from this deck, again, because of that cardstock. Okay, so you've seen me cut the deck on camera. You're watching as I shuffle through the deck until the, until the deck feels, feels like it's good. I think maybe another one. And then we're going to start pilling, okay? Just in case someone's wondering, like, why why am I pilling the cards differently this week? That's why, okay? Right, any of the zodiacs that I mentioned, please do keep an open mind because they could be placements in your chart, placements in someone else's chart, or they could even be character traits of somebody as well, okay? So you've got the Fool, that's your first card out. That's Uranus, so Aquarius energy. The world, fixed energy, uh, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. It's ruled by Saturn, so potentially it could also be Capricorn energy as well. The Empress, um, Taurus, Libra, or Divine Feminine. The Ace of Coins, Earth, 
Taurus Virgo Capricorn, the Three of Cups Cancerian, Temperance Sagittarius, the High Priestess Moon, so Pisces or Cancer, the Emperor Aries or Divine Masculine. So we've got the Empress and the Emperor out in the same read. It's absolutely beautiful energy. And then the Nine of Wands Sagittarius energy. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Swords, it's Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the Nine of Cups, Pisces. So, with that being said, I, I've literally named almost everybody. Um, so, the dominant signs, I would say, are all of the four fixed signs, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius and Sagittarius, Aries, they are the dominant signs that's in this read, okay. Um, Page of Swords, Nine of Cups, so this I feel could be your energy, Leo, with the Page of Swords, Nine of Cups. You're trying to figure out what would make you happy, all right. And I do feel that it's connected to your oracle at the start of the read. I do feel strongly it's connected to that. You're reevaluating a lot of things in your life. Um, and you, you're trying to figure out how, for some of you, how, how to make your life easier. You know, it, it's almost like, um, well, somebody is definitely exhausted. Right, with this nine of wands, right? Someone is exhausted with feeling as if they constantly have to fight for what they want out of life. And there, there is a lot of, it seems to be unnecessary pushback. But what I can't figure out is if, if that pushback is coming from the universe or is it coming from within you or is it coming from your uh, your social environment <clears throat> it could be a combination of all three for for some um so we're looking at a situation where you're desperately trying to improve on your life make life easier for yourself that this is all about working smarter and not harder um, because right now with that exhaustion, it's like every everything that, that you attempt to do seems to uh, backfire. Unforeseen consequences of you basically trying to do the right thing and then feeling just completely exhausted with the whole situation because it definitely feels like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't so there, there's a message here about balance with with the temperance energy um things need to be done in moderation so i can see that some of you are trying to juggle quite a lot right now and again that's where that exhaustion is being felt from with the world energy i feel that this is indicating that um a, a lot of things seem to be outside of your control so obviously if you're trying to control something that is outside of your control then th there will be unforeseen consequences from that because you're not going to be able to control what is uncontrollable you know so with, with this moderation it's more about focused be focused on what you can control and what you can change rather than trying to change lots of things at the same time and then and then exhausting yourself okay um i'm definitely needing to pull another deck out on this because that there is so much that's going on with this energy that it can become confusing really really quickly really quickly and again the fool and the ace of coins with the high priestess this is someone's intuition actually giving another person so many signs so many sig signals that things can and should be a lot better and a lot easier um but high priestess emperor nine of wands it's like somebody 
doesn't fully trust their intuition for whatever reason. Um, very much struggling to to listen to their higher self. What is Empress here, please, for Leo? Thank you. The Queen of Cups, okay. And the Emperor, please. Why is the Emperor here for Leo? Why are the Emperor for Leo, please? Thank you. Top two, okay. A Knight of Coins and Justice. Now, Leo, there, there's either a disagreement between you and another individual. Either somebody, somebody that you're married to or somebody that you're in a long term commitment with, or even you could be in disagreement with a twin flame or your internal self. With the Empress and the Emperor, masculine divine and the feminine divine. But again, you need to keep an open mind because everybody has got divine masculine and divine feminine energies within them and they need to be brought into union okay so th there is a couple of different scenarios that are showing out in this read okay use your intuition your very best intuition on how this is resonating for you if it's even resonating at all okay somebody is out of alignment with either themselves or their divine partner or their um, earthly partner. That there is a total misalignment here. And that this is why the Three of Cups is central to your read, because that that is, it can be a reunion, a reconciliation, things being in harmony. Okay, really, really good news when it comes down to love romance, children, anything that, that you love deeply, this Three of Cups is those things all being in alignment with each other. And if you, took, uh, if you take a closer look at this justice, it literally is the, the yin and the yang being in alignment with each other. That's where this beautiful rainbow of colours has come from because they're, they're now in alignment with each other. Um, you're being told that this this isn't going to be a quick fix with the Knight of Coins. Okay, so something is going to take a long time to, to reach that stage of being in alignment. So again, I don't know if this is an internal force, an external force or a combination of both. I do suspect that it's a combination of both. And what I think that it could be telling you, Leo, is once you're in alignment, true alignment with yourself, with your internal divine feminine and divine masculine, then everything outside of you will follow suit. Okay. Hmm. Why this Ace of Coins, please, for Leo? Thank you. A Page of Coins. Wow. There's something about information. I'm, I'm getting like a misinformation that someone else has received that has kept them stuck for longer than necessary with the ace of coins page of coins so it's asking for you to do some more research leo and i'm feeling that this is along the, the lines of alchemy and I, i'm gonna show you something in a second um after i finish reading this the eight of cups yeah <clears throat> yeah it's uh, it's time for you to leave something behind and again some kind of either false information or misinformation that has kept you stuck it's time to walk away from that 
Okay, so I've printed this off, um, hopefully so that you can see it clearly, right? And this, this is absolutely what is coming out of your tarot read, Leo, okay? This is called the Glyphs for the Seven Hermetic Laws of the Ancient Kemet. <clears throat> it's alchemy, all right? Th these are the laws of alchemy, and this is what I'm seeing in your read. So I'm, I'm going to read it to you. The first law of alchemy is mentalism. The principle of mentalism, the all is mind, the universe is mental. Number two, correspondence. As above, so below. As below, so above. As within, so without. As without, so within. Right? So when I mentioned about how you need to be in total alignment with your internal masculine and feminine divine, and then the influences outside of you will also start to be in alignment. You see how, how that is literally that law of alchemy, right? <clears throat> the third law is the law of vibration. Nothing rests, everything moves and everything vibrates. Number four, polarity. Everything is dual. Everything has poles, everything has its pair of opposites, like and unlike are the same. Opposites are identical in nature, but different in degree. Extremes meet, all truths are but half-truths, and all paradoxes may be reconciled. Um, this, this is slightly out of order, it's number five is rhythm. Everything flows in and out, everything has its tides, all things rise and fall. The pendulum swing manifests in everything. The measure of the swing to the right is the measure of the swing to the left, and rhythm compensates. Number six, the law of cause and effect, or ca causality. Every cause has its effect and every effect has its cause. Everything happens according to law. Chance is but a name for law not recognized. There are many planes of causation, but nothing escapes the law. And then finally, number seven, the law of gender. Gender is in everything. Everything has its masculine and feminine principles. Gender manifests on all planes. So, I figured to help you understand this particular read better, because I know that I'm, I'm not always clear in how I explain things, right? And that is a problem with me because, um, you know, I, I do have quite a lot of social anxiety. I'm not able to put into words correctly what, I, what I'm seeing in my mind's eye. So, yeah, I, I do struggle with my communication, but hopefully with me reading you that list, I can help you now to further understand the energy that I was feeling as clear as day in this read for you, Leo. It is literally the all of the laws of the alchemy in your read. And your attention is being brought right now in this very moment. Your attention is being brought to the, um, <clears throat> the, the principle of gender, polarity, and correspondence, okay? That That's where your attention needs to be focused on right now. I have a healing message, please, for Leo. Okay, the bill. Um, some of you could definitely be dealing with a Taurus. There was a lot of Taurus energy in your read. And now we're getting the bill as well. Or you could have um, a Taurus placement somewhere in your chart that you feel is currently causing you a few problems because you're a Leo, so you're a fixed sign. And then if you've got another fixed sign in a dominant position in your chart that could be causing a lot of um, internal restrictions for, for, for you to try and work through okay 
And I understand completely how that one goes because I'm um, Scorpio Sun and then Taurus Moon. And I've got like loads of Capricorn throughout my chart as well. So these um, elements are pretty much constantly in conflict with each other, <laughs> you know. Right, um, okay, so it says the bill mediates the influence of Tyrannus, the Jupiter-like god of the Druids, whose beneficence and expansiveness bring the opportunity for a rich and abundant life. The bill is a symbol of wealth and is auspicious to draw this card when considering any financial matters. But remember that the ancient ones understood that true wealth is found in the heart and soul first. But remember the ancient ones understood that true wealth is found in the heart and soul first and only then in the material world. The bill represents fertility, potency, abundance and prosperity, things that can sometimes take a while to achieve. If your goals require for you to work steadfastly in trying circumstances for a considerable t uh, amount of time, the bill will help you to succeed without becoming drained or depressed. And then it's got keywords, wealth, potency and beneficence, fertility and creativity. So again, the, the synchronicity of that particular card coming out given the context of what we've seen in your tarot, it, it still ties in with each other. Your, um, your true wealth is found in your heart and your soul first, and then it manifests into your physical world. So again, it, it's another heavy hint that your inner world being in harmony and then it manifests into being in harmony with the physical. It's a, a very consistent theme of your particular read. What else please, Leo? <laughs> Archangel Michael, being protected by the divine. That's beautiful. Truth and integrity, yeah. Surrounding yourself with individuals who have integrity. Balance, forgiveness, ideas and inspiration and dreams, yeah. Um, it, it's like you, you're not struggling for ideas or inspiration. You, you're not struggling for anything like that. What you are struggling with right now is trying to manifest your dreams into reality. Again, it's just confirmation. A balance is required. You've got a message here about forgiveness. So it's time for you to forgive yourself for um, for being in your own way, I want to say, for, for some of you. And then you've got blessings. Yeah, that's beautiful. An abundance of blessings is coming your way, Leo. else please for Leo. I am so incredible. Rain boast. Hey beautiful, let me tell you, you've got it. You're fucking amazing. Celebrate every part of yourself. You're a gift. Yeah. So in the context of your read, Leo, it's, um, it's time for you to learn how to start singing your own praises. Okay. I'm not talking in like a, a distorted way or a narcissistic way, nothing like that. Okay. That that's like a, an overinflation of the self. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. This is more about you boosting yourself up instead of sitting there telling yourself, I'm stuck, I can't do it, blah, blah, blah. 
th this goes against whatever. Start building yourself up instead of finding ways of not doing something that you really want to do. Just remember the bigger picture and what it is that, that, you're, uh, that you're fighting for. Okay. Else for Leo, please. Positive thinking. <laughs> In the garden of my mind, I water the good thoughts and weed out the bad ones. I throw in forgiveness and empathy seeds by the handful if I want, and I take a lawnmower to the jealousy and resentment patch. I'm a pretty badass mind gardener. <laughs> Yeah, again, um, do you see what I mean when I mentioned about like the the thoughts, the the things that someone is telling themselves, that they're not your own thoughts, they belong to someone else, okay? It's time for you to do some mental gardening and, and figure out what is it that you want to cultivate and what is it that you want to get rid of and, and where where did some of these um, negative thoughts, where, where did they come from, okay? Someone has clearly wanted to keep you stuck somehow. So you have to figure out, well, what would they gain from from me not being in alignment with myself? What would they gain from, from me being stuck? Right. It's called following the money. All right. So anybody who's got ulterior motives like that and, and they've sat there and criticized you and put these seeds of doubt in your head, figure out why, why, why would they benefit from, from you doubting yourself? Mm. Okay, so that is what I have for you, Leo. If you would like to book a private reading that is more catered towards your specific needs, then you can follow the link that I've provided in my description box and in my pinned comment below. I am currently setting up a second website. It's called phoenixkiataro.com, where you can also place your booking. Eventually, um, I'm going to move the, the bookings off my original website, which is the link below that's like the jewellery website. I'm going to take the bookings off that and put it on the Strictly Tarot website, okay? So it's just in case anyone's confused as to why there's two websites, that's the reason why. Uh, it's just temporary. You, you can put your bookings on either website and I will still receive your booking. It's not a problem. Eventually though, it's just going to be available on the Tarot only website, okay? Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join me again on the 16th of March at 4pm GMT for your love read. Thank you so much to everybody who has liked, shared, subscribed and supported my channel. It really does help me to get the messages out there to those who are needing to hear them. And thank you so much for watching. We shall speak again soon. Bye.